There she is. The bean picker. Well, hey, friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're out in the garden, and there's no chickens, no pigs, no sheep out here, uh, but we do have a lot of these, and these are our green beans. Uh, we planted beans about eight weeks ago, and it's time to pick. So uh, today we're going to pick some green beans. We're going to talk about the variety that we grow and why we grow those. Um, we're going to talk about how we grow them. Uh, and then we're also going to show how we can these beans and put them back for the winter. So hang out with us and let's talk about green beans and let's see how many cans worth of green beans we end up with. Hang out. So the variety of beans that we grow, we grow Blue Lake. And a couple reasons that we grow Blue Lake green beans. Uh, number one, it's a bush bean. So they grow just in short bushes, kind of like what you see here typically about knee thigh high um, and you don't have to trellis you don't have to put poles in you don't have to put strings in uh, they just grow in a in a bush style secondly they uh, they don't have strings on them. so when it comes time to break beans and get them ready to go in the can uh, you don't have to worry about strings every once in a while you will find a little bit of a string on one but that's pretty rare so what we done this year we bought a uh, eight ounce bag a half pound bag of the Wyatt Quarles um, Blue Lake Green Beans and the instructions on the bag say that these are appropriate uh, or that they will a pound the instructions on the bag say that a pound will do one 100 foot row uh, so let's take a look and see how many feet of green beans we planted with uh, not quite half a pound so in our garden, we grow uh, in raised beds. Uh, these are 10 foot long by four foot wide um, raised beds. And thinking about maybe changing this up a little bit next year, but um, not entirely decided on what we're gonna do. Saunders not very excited about what I wanna do, but we'll, we'll, see who, uh, we'll see who comes out ahead in that deal. Um, she's in the background saying no. But uh, again, the, the instructions on the bag said that one pound of bush bean seeds would do a 100 foot row. So we were able to do four, one, two, three, four. We were able to do four boxes with two rows per box of green beans and still had some left over. Um, so we have essentially 80 feet of green beans. Um, when I was planting these beans, <clears throat> I sent a picture of how I was planting them to my dad, and he texted me back and he said, uh, instead of putting where you're putting one, put three. Plant them heavy. Your granny doesn't agree with it, but plant them heavy. So I followed dear old dad's advice and planted three seeds um, where the instructions were saying one, and we still ended up with this. And you can see these things have come in super super thick <clears throat> a lot of beans i don't know if you can really tell in the video but there's a whole lot of beans in there they've just done excellent um so on our garden also i want to point this out we don't use any chemical fertilizers no herbicides and no pesticides so these beans are for all intents and purposes 100 percent organic they were planted in compost and then we let them go we didn't go back and hoe them we didn't go back and weed them we just let them go and the only real problem that we've had is on some of these leaves we've had some of these guys and it fell off some japanese beetles uh, that have eaten on some of the leaves but they seem to have left the beans alone so i think for no pesticides, no herbicides, and no fertilizer. Um, I'm pretty happy with what we got. Mystery is, how many do we have? I think we're going to get a good picking out tonight. There are some that are still small, so we'll come back and do a second picking probably in a week, 10 days. We'll see how they do. But uh, so far, we've been pretty happy with the way the beans done. So let's get to picking. All right, 
so we're done picking uh, the, the green beans and we ended up with probably about a bushel and a half um, of blue lakes uh, and these beans are they're really nice very very few almost no bug bites on them good size and there's still enough out there uh, we'll probably need to pick again in two or three days and then we'll probably get a third picking off of them because there are some that are still blooming and have got some real small baby beans so this is what we ended up with these are the the two basketfuls um saunders got a pan there we're going to start breaking here in a minute and uh, we'll break them then we'll take them in and wash them uh, pack them in the cans and uh, again we're going to show the canning process here in a minute so hang around for that we'll show you how we do the the canning of the green beans but uh, pretty happy with what we've got so far and again pesticide herbicide fertilizer free beans so these are about as organic as you're going to get so let's break some beans now So before we start packing the cans, um, we're gonna wash the beans. And we use this turkey fryer um, with the uh, strainer basket that comes with it. This works really, really good. We just put the beans down in there and run the uh, run the turkey fryer pot. Uh, about halfway full of water, maybe not quite. Just enough to cover the beans. We'll run them twice uh, through the water and uh, just make sure we got all the dirt and grime and all that kind of stuff off and that they're really clean and ready to go in the uh, ready to go in the jars so wash the beans next Okay, so we've got our beans that are picked and broken and washed, and we've got our cans sitting over there on the Big Joe, and we sterilize our cans uh, in the oven, 250 degrees for about 15 minutes, and then. We're just gonna fill the jar up to about the shoulder, uh, give it a little tap on the bottom, um, and just fill the jar up to about the shoulder. And then we're gonna put a half a teaspoon of salt in the jar. And then we're gonna fill it up to the beans are covered uh, with water. We just fill it up till the beans, the top of the beans are covered with uh, covered with water. And then after they've got the beans and the salt and the water in, I'm just gonna put the seals on top and add the rings. Ready for the can. Okay, so we got the pressure canner loaded. And what we're doing is we're trying to bring the pressure up to 10. It's at about five right now. And once it gets up to 10, this little doodad right there will start jiggling. 
and then we'll turn the heat back and we're gonna try to maintain the pressure right at around 10 for 20 minutes. Excuse me, 25 minutes, for 25 minutes. And so, waiting on it to come up to, uh, come up to pressure right now. All right, so the canner's done and we're gonna we've let the pressure off. Yeah, we've already let the pressure off. Yeah. Yeah, do not take do not try to take the top off of this off of these canners with any pressure left on it. So you can get hurt, seriously injured or even killed. I see that. And there they are. <clears throat> All right, so now what we do is we just take the, uh, we got a jar gripper. And we just pull the can out. Set them over to cool. So far, some of these jars were old and we've had three that have failed. So we're gonna see how many we end up with that are good jars and how many that we had failed. And we'll give you a final count here. Just a minute. Okay, so this is the next to the last batch in the can. And we got three cans left. So there are 25 here, three there, that's 28. There's seven in the can, that makes 35. And then we had three cans that failed. So all together, 38 quarts of Blue Lake green beans out of eight 10 foot rows about a half a pound of seed, no fertilizer, no herbicides, no pesticides. So, and two pickings to go. And two pickings to go. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, a little after 11 o'clock. This has ended up being a day and a half project um, between picking and breaking and washing and getting everything together and had to make a run to town and get another case and a half of jars. So. All together, ended up with 38 quarts of green beans. So I think that's, uh, that's going to do it. Appreciate y'all watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Follow along with us. we got more gardening stuff going on and chickens and pigs and sheep and just all kinds of, all kinds of stuff happening here on the farm. So appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.